far as abrasives go, what's your favorite? Like, like I use these cause they're cheap. And then I like these though, when I can afford them. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't afford the one I really want, man. I, yeah. Wow. That thing got expensive. And that was that diamond, that third diamond cut brush. Yeah. That thing, man, bad, oh man, man. What a, what a game changer that was. Uh huh. You know, we, we like to fabricate projects that are visually appealing mm -hmm. and there's nothing visually appealing about a project that it looks like you just beat the crap out of the corners, you know? Mm hmm. And that's what it looks like when we grind to remove a meal scale or something, if we don't do it correctly. And that was a beautiful thing about that, that the diamond cut brush is it just, it, it picks that mill scale off. Mm -hmm. I can't stand mill scale. It's, you know, you weld through it. It starves your weld pool of fluidity and doesn't, doesn't make things work right. So yeah. we want to get rid of it. And how do you get rid of it? Well, you can't use it. You can't, you can't lift a, or you can't put a, uh, the flapper disc down because it just mm -hmm. glazes over immediately. It's, it's done after about 10 seconds, you know, and then you got to yeah. take it off the side, cut it or something. Mm -hmm. But um, you'll see me use quarter inch wheels a lot. I'll just lay, mm -hmm. I just have left flat. I don't like to cut into the material. Uh, I use the eighth inch to clean things in a, as far as a, a groove weld, that's like a stick or something that we're doing on pipe mm -hmm. uh, wire wheels for sure. Cup mm -hmm. brushes. I'm probably, you know, not a whole lot of people run cup brushes anymore. I like mm -hmm. them. Just got to remember to keep my belly out of the way, you know. Yeah, they can up, get me. Can't let go of the trigger. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty brutal. Yeah, I fixed a. Uh, I fixed a grinder that I've had for a long time. It's a. It's a nine inch Makita. Uh huh. Yeah, I think you may have seen it when you're down here. Yeah, I put a wheel on it the other day, and I did a demonstration. I beveled a six-inch pipe in about three minutes. The half, the half of it that was up on mm -hmm. the top part of it had a brand new quarter-inch disc on there. When I started it up, I was going all over the place because all the torque and everything. You know, that's a heavy little unit, but man, that's all we had back in the old days. You know. Yeah. So as far as <laughs> braces, you know, I could put some thirty-six-inch sanding papers on that thing and just cut right through. You gotta be careful. You cut right through and make eighth inch out of quarter inch in a hurry. Yeah, uh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, you know, I just you try to find the best deal. You try to find something that's going to stay with you and last. So you got to use it correctly. I will say this. I will say this. If anybody is in the market and you're investing in a grinder, mm -hmm. take a look at a variable speed. Long term, yeah. I think it is the best choice because you can control that rpm you can make things cut better you can make your uh abrasives last longer it's mm -hmm. all about control anyway so i uh, we could throw a safety factor in there you know mm -hmm. i just think it's a i just think they're a good idea and i purchased a couple of uh metabos because they were something that i could afford and i've used that brand before and i'm not I don't, I don't have a, I'm not an ambassador for anybody in the braces game, um, mm -hmm. not speaking for anything. And even if I, even if I did, I'd still speak highly of anything that worked good. And mm -hmm. So, uh, there's some great units out there. They're yeah. extremely expensive units. I rolled across some the other day on the internet. I'm going, golly, I need to retire and put all my money in that. If I'm going <laughs> to buy it, holy smokes, that's expensive. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. But there's some good, there's some good stuff out there. It's, it's what you're. What's available to you locally? Uh, uh, whether you know whether you know somebody that can give you a good deal or whatnot, but service, um, but variable speed, I think is the way to go. I don't know what that thing is you got. I think it's a turbo, got a turbo on it, doesn't it? That thing's bad to the bone, boy. That's um, it's a D wall. I'm bring my nine inch up there. We're gonna have, to have races <laughs> around expanded metal or something. Yeah, contest. It's it's not variable speed, but I'm with you on that. It's just a little bit more money to get that variable speed. And I can remember when I was down there. Matter of fact, there's a YouTube video on on this channel on YouTube, Smoker Builder, uh, where I was down there with you and we was cleaning mill scale off with that diamond oh, cut brush. That's right. That that's thing's right. awesome. Yeah, I, that was, I have uh, no idea what it cost, but boy, that wheel, it did the that's job. When that cup was pretty pretty uh, new, and I I think I've gone through one other 
cup brush since mm-hmm. then. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. they're they're up there. And, and it did nothing to the base material. Like it just it just knocked it, off that mill scale and it was it looked just, like it had been sandblasted. Yeah. And and awesome. brushed after that. It just it's so sweet, you know. It's, it's, that's the surface that should be on your steel. And mm-hmm. guess what? You can weld at lower settings. You don't have to breathe all that junk and the rust and all that stuff's not in, not in there. So 